bit in is a Strigi 300 second. They did about a, probably 12 years ago or something thereabouts. And they had the old 3B3 signs up for about, uh, they roughly did about 800 metres long, which is a big effort for about 3 cents a litre for 3 years that the stupid Nick Griner brought in. They just came along out here, just hard straight over the dirt road. There was no road here before, no car at all. Just a dirt section on the left for bloody 50 years. They just come over on the 3B3 front and hard straight over it. And all pissed off, they left the signs there for about a year. And they even had to hide to come and remove the signs about a year later. And it was already popped out and blown to pieces. And the council came out and patched her up a bit. And that's what they've been doing ever since. Look, if you're just looking close, you can see through the thin layer of car there, just hanging in there. Got a bit of patchwork fun there. But Maybe at this time of day is not a good time to film. But you might be able to see the whole proper thing. Well, you can see along the edge of the road there where there's, there's just no steel even. They just done a shit job. Totally, just totally shit job where the whole edge of the road is pushing out back there along here as well. Even here, look along the edge of the road, see how it's all pushed up. They're growing a big long mountain range. Something like the Blue Mountain starting to grow. That must be how, that might be how mountain ranges are formed, maybe, uh, on the edge of roads. And yet this here is still part of that same 3v3 job. The tar looks alright, feels good. So, what happened? They did half a good job, did they, and half a shit job? No, I don't think so. They just lucked maybe here and didn't rain or something on the day. Whatever happened. You can still see along the verge, but there it's still pushed out, there's no real seal foundated edges or nothing. It's just poured over the top. This is about the end of where the 3v3 finishes out here somewhere. And we'll just get back onto the good council responsibility one that the state or the federal should be propping up the money. Not even the money, we want them to send road builders once to the contractors, and then we can get a job done, and then they get a warranty, and if they shit themselves, they've got to come and fix the problem. <coughs> the problem with using council workers to make roads is there's no warranty, all that happens is we pay for it over and over again to be repaired, 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 all of the costs and you know, the expense to the bloody rate payer. <coughs> 